your natural sebum oil production does slow down as you age. Now, when you're thinking about your beard care journey and routines, that is something you wanna keep in mind for some specific reasons that we will cover in this video. I do wanna say welcome and thank you for clicking on this video today. If you're a returning subscriber, shout out to you as always. I see you, I appreciate you, especially when you leave comments. It makes it much easier to see you. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dan C. Bearded. I hope you do consider subscribing to this channel that's dedicated to all stuff beard related. And if this video seems interesting, entertaining, or maybe you learned something, please hit a thumbs up right now. We're going to go into the intro, which I haven't done much lately, and then we'll get into the info. Sebum oil production really gets going at about the time of puberty and then peaks out at about 18 to 20 and then really for the rest of your life goes down from there. And there is some evidence behind this that most of us can relate to and say, aha, that makes a lot of sense. Think about when you see acne problems the most, which usually with teenagers and then young adults in their early 20s. Okay, yeah, and that really is because those sebum oil levels are just pumping. They are working overtime, and when that happens, it can clog the pores and cause pimples, right? When you see adults, it's usually not as much as a, of a problem, and that's just simply because they don't have as much natural sebum that's going into those pores, and it's not clogging them. Ah, okay, okay, that makes sense. Now, when we take a look at our beard journey, our beard routine, our beard care, there are some reasons we want to keep this in mind. The first being... What worked once upon a time may not be the same right now. For example, let's say you grew out a beard in your early 20s. You had to take a break because of work. Maybe it's the military. Thank you to any active military members, any veterans out there for your service for our country and our freedom. Maybe that's the case. And then you come back, you grow that freedom beard 10, 20, 30 years down the road. And you're like, man, this seems different than when I grew it back in the day. Well, it's likely true. Your DNA is different. There's different stuff happening in your body and on your beard. So you want to adjust accordingly. Some things that I would suggest when you're younger, wash your beard more. When you're older and it feels dry, it's probably because it is and you need to use a little bit more oil. Now, I do have to say, I'm the first person, I actually have a video on this, to say the idea of sebum oil in beard care is highly overblown. It's one of those things that people hear and they love to repeat it. They love to say it. Don't overwash your beard because it's going to strip it and it's going to get rid of all the natural oils. Well, the fact of the matter is, if you're using quality products, it's not that big of a deal. You are going to mimic it or even be a little bit better. Our sebum oil is fantastic, but we have some blends that we've really calculated the proteins and the ability to coat and seal and then also penetrate that really does, we could say, a better job. So it's something to think about. It's not everything though, but it does make sense. If you have one of those kind of aha moments and you relate right now, drop a comment and say, hey, I experienced, that makes so much sense with what you're saying, Dan, because this happened or this happened. I would love to hear those moments. Let me take two seconds, collect my thoughts. I'll come back to you guys for a conclusion. What are your questions on sebum oil, on production as you age, as it relates to your beard care, your beard journey? Let me know down below. Did you watch my sebum oil video? I will try to, if I can remember, link that mental note. Got it. Link that in the description so you guys can go watch that. It pretty much breaks down that whole misconception and idea. But I was reading about this on some research and I thought it did make sense and I thought it was something valuable that maybe you could use or at the very least store it in that mental file cabinet that you have up there to say, oh, interesting fact. I got it. Cool. So let me know your thoughts down below, especially let me know your questions. I appreciate every single one of those. Thank you guys for watching today. Dancy Bearded. Stay bearded and stay positive.